Yes. Kita naman natin sa buff nga po, uh, Mr. Desi. Ayan, na pop men. Ang naipit dito, pero sa may bottom lane, si James naman ang hinahabol ni Paring Kram. Still try to run away, pero aabutan ng orb. Oh, the flicker is there! And the jump is on there. Para sa side ni James. Ni James, no? And nakakatakas ka ba? Idadive sa turret? I think, yes, denied sa turret. And that is going to be the first blood para sa side ng U level. Very wrong play uh, coming from James, no? Kasi alam naman natin na nandun yung alis natin. And still, talagang pinilit niyang pumasok doon sa jungle camp ng kalaban. <laughs> Si Kram pala this time around yung gumagamit ng Alice though. So very mm -hmm. aggressive siya. And this time around, Dia naman gumagamit sa Lunox. Escanor trying to find the right target here. Against next day, Solid Kali. Medyo nag-iisa dyan. Pero madali naman makakatakas ang isang Karita against his enemies. May yung Ocean Oddity. Meanwhile, doon sa top lane, lane, a heavy no. rotation will happen na nga ba. Sandwich method ba ang gagawin nila dito? Na yes, yung sa top lane. Gumugusto ng sandwich meta dito Bakas, As you can see si Johed Nag-aabang pa rin sa may damuhan Pero yan ngayon They are rotating onto the middle lane Hindi nila alam Nandito sa damuhan Si parang HO Speaking of HO oh, Look at Orange Harmon That connected <laughs> against Doc Men Mountain Shockers Been activated Just to slow the enemy down Pero disengage muna Gali sa magkabi ng team natin Maring Atina As we all know Na makakalamang talaga sa early Ang isang Esmeralda Na merong Ang complete Ang maganda buff. pa doon kasi uh, close call din na whistleblower mm. kung magadoon yung ultimate din ni Wise sabi niya ay marami pala yun papalag sila kung around 1 to 2 eh pero dito sabi nila baka kasi magkaroon ng counter initiate doon sa top lane natin and Escarner might fall down kung tutuloy man natin sa Kali yun yun yung advantage ng global vision na nagaganap Naku. or nabibigay ng isang YSS meanwhile Kram versus Jade ka naman Naku, tatlong hmm. membro ng uh, U-Level ang nasa bot lane look at Doc Main uy, kala ko talaga idadive ng team U-Level dito pero luckily hindi sila ganon kaasim this early on to the game because they all know na kapag naka-item ang isang Tamus na medyo may kakunatan nga naman and they don't have anyone uh, to tear down yung nga ganong kakunat na hero sa ganito kaaga na laban mga kaibigan yes. right now on the bottom lane talagang dalawang mage yung bubawarat kay paring James hindi talaga ito yung nakakunta doon with the Cotteran Inferno papasukin nga ba sa loob ng turret hindi disengage siya lang muna and while NXP Solid is prioritizing the turtle makikita sila dito yes. ni Doc Men and ni Crab and this is going to be a contest para yeah. sa magkabilang team and turtle is still alive mas yeah. ang mga ten ang ganda ng inejector and dito pero yung is still on the go na agaw ng NXP ang kanilang turtle sabi nila dito hindi namin ibigay sa inyo yan kami nag-umpisa sa pinyan syempre sabi nga nila eh slow and steady wins the race sabi nila dahan-dahan man namin pinatay yung turtle dito basta secure pa rin na issue although puro melee yung heroes dito na x-ray solid nakikita naman natin mm -hmm. na Dreamwork makes the team work. Maingat na maingat sila, Baymas. Going into the 4-minute mark tayo. Kung i-compare natin sa round 1 na round 2, na very yeah. aggressive yung both teams natin. Is around 6 to 12 yung mga death count natin. This time around, wala pang sagot. Yung next is solid sa pang aape sa kanila ng U-Dev. Pero dito si Yawi. Hindi ko pinaape. Si Yawi talaga hmm. pinaape ng team U-Level. And onto the top lane naman si Yato and Escanor. Still on the go trahing to aggravate dito si Rene J pero ang ganda sana ng kanyang way of the dragon kaso merong taktong sa mga maring atina and maidagdag ko lang no yes NXP solid maring atina is full of melee heroes yeah, pero yeah. sapat na yung mga melee heroes na yan para makahabol no sa isang mm -hmm. long range hero because of the mobility yeah. Esmeralda with the additional movement speed. Joe with the Jeet Kune Do. Si Hilda, ganun din. Mabilis din tumakbo, di ba? Si Kali with the water, yun yung dash ng tubig na yun. Di ba? Yeah. So, kayang-kaya nilang habulin kahit long Para. range yung kalaban nila dito. Ayan. Kita mo, sa sobrang pag-iingat ng X-ray Solid, unti-unti, nakuha nila yung gold lead. So, come here, napilita na mag-early German cut against James. Ayun. So, medyo alang nga ni, pero sinalubong. Polly Star mm -hmm. coming from H2O Cram, very low on HP and is going to be taken down by Yawi. That is a misplay for Cram, no? And napakalaking bagay nun para sa side ng NXP Solid. Da. And right yes. now, Escanor will try to steal the purple buff here. Yes. The entire team of Team U level, Escanor, oh, oh, oh. na ipit dito. Here comes the follow-up coming from NXP. Early coming from the sides, pero H2O sumasayo pa rin. Yawi still very aggressive against Escanor while si uh, Doc Men Hinahabol ni James. Distingage siya nga lang din naman muna para sa side ng 2-level dito. Nanakaanan ba? Actually, no. 
na no, nakuha pa rin ng NXP pero still on the go look at the damage of DB Tawa na lulok sa atin dito mamamatay main look at the end yeah still on the go pero kali ang sa nang backup dito Yawi with the basic attack tapos Kalmok lang din naman Kram is still alive pero patay si paring Rene J dito mga tol that is going to be a 2 for 1 exchange in favor of NXP solid idagdag mo pa yung total na nasecure nila kasabihin ko pa lang sana na kalmado yung laban natin ko i-compare nga natin sa mga naunang round pero 6 minute mark sabi nga nila wag kang magsasalita nang tapos dahil the calm before the storm, the storm. ang ganap nun tapos grabe naman pati grabe. yung advantage sa gold nakuha nila dito the big objective as well that is a 2 turtle buff yun ang secure na next day solid dogman here hmm Wow, coming from Dokmen, pero mounting yeah. Shakur has been activated just to make sure na hindi marami yung susubukan nilang labanan. Yawi mm -hmm. has been forced to use his flicker yes. and good yun para sa side ng U-Level kasi wala nang way of escape ngayon ang isang Hilda. As we all know, additional movement speed lang ang meron ng Hilda and wala siyang uh, dashes. So good thing na nawala na yung flicker nila and right now U-Level will try to push out the bottom lane. They really want to take down this third and, and as you can see Maring Atina, Ang bilis ng respo Bravo. ng NXP. Sobrang bilis ng respo nila guys. Nakikita naman natin, nahihirapan din yung new level. Puro si Escanor here, napipilitan siya na mag-clear din na minion wave. Kasi ang agang kinakat din na Rene J, yung minion wave niya. Pero dito kakap oh. na Rene Kali, yung Nako. buhay niya ato. Nako, ay, ang uh, tanong ko lang dun, bakit parang nanood? <laughs> si Doc Men dun sa damuhan uh -huh. he didn't do anything to help his teammate nako bero nung yun para sa side nila another opportunity given para sa NXP Solid and right now NXP Solid indeed has the gold deed maring Atina and ay hirapan humabol yung U-Level speaking of habol inabol niya with D1 pero disengage siya lang din muna Kram yes. still doing his best para makapag-collect ng mga orbs para sa lifestyle niya during late game Yun nga, eh, napipilitan tuloy dito yung yung level na mag-disengage or mag-react na lang sa mga ginagawa sa kanya ng oh next team. Oh my god! And another one na naman! Another takedown talaga, Maring Athena. Pero eto, teamfight still going to happen. Yeah, we still chasing Dokmen and Dian. Pero disengage siya lang muna. The problem here is meron pang turret yung bottom lane. Kaya hindi nila talagang ma-play eh, ma yung gusto nilang play, yung aggressive plays, Maring Athena. Hindi nila magawa. Hindi, hindi nila kayang yeah. mag-dive sa turret right now. Mm -hmm. Maingat na maingat sila this time around They mass 8 minute mark na tayo 19 versus 22k gold lead The next day solid And very quick, quick item check Makikita naman natin dito H2O nabili niya na yung first core item niya Which is the Calamity Reaper Meanwhile, Hilda going for the Athena Shield for the first item just to counter mm -hmm. Kram and Dian onto the mage of new level. Isa lang no. naman natin napakasakit ng damage siya yun. Masakit din yung damage siya binibigyan lang kay Escanor pero mabilis din naman ang red shit at second skill niya ni Escanor just to yes. back things up. Yes, and right now, so may bottom lane si James naman ang hinahabol nila paring Dokmen. Pero instead, they have gone for the turret na lang. And right now, you level is the first one to take down a turret sa magkabilang side natin dito. Both teams is doing a very good job defending their own turrets to the point na 8 minutes na, actually 9 minutes na, yes. bago sila nakabasag ng third tier turret. Mm -hmm. Third tier turret, guys, 9 minutes bago nabasag. Ganon sila ka-defensive, ganon sila ka-ingat maglaro ngayon yes. for game number 3. Pero right now, Dricado yung kalagayan ni Renegy against 3 members. Kali here on the backup uh, as well as yung Hilda natin. Papunta na. It's, it's, it is going to be a 3. Versus 3, team fight. So, Whoa! Top, no! Ang ganda ng Raging Sandstorm dito. Kali yeah. is down. Yawi na pinitan to magbo. Pero here comes Dokmen. When he goes with us na pabal po. Tapos si Jekto. Uh, Binalik si Maring Yawi. Yeah. Dirikado ang kalagayan niya ngayon. Here comes Tia. When he's ultimate Yawi. Might be torn apart. Dito sa may top. Red J is still chasing Yato. Here comes the falling star. Will connect against the star. Yeah. Red J with the basic tax. That clip. Mm -hmm. Stops evaded. Dian is right. Chasing Red J as well as Dokmen. With the yes. ejector. The flicker is there. Pero Red J is still alive. Trying to run away. Walang jit kung doon. Walang short point. That is going to be his down. Yeah against the hands of yes. Dian H2O hinahabol si Kram I think hindi naaabot ang parang may Falling Star Moon ginusto ang galob ng turret no, yeah, dito ng panahon so, and now another ultimate has been activated by Doc Men and here the stun is there para makunat ang shield ni H2O yun yung sinasabi ko sa iyo kanina no, Mario during mid early yeah. and mid mahihirapan silang patayin ang Esmeralda because of the shields. Ayan. And Esmeralda has to abuse that power kasi nalilimutan yata nila that you level still has yato na unti natin nakakapag-skill up, nakakabilin ng mga item niya. Look at that. Endless battle kaya naman nagkakaroon na siya ng damage. 
And as well as Kenor, naka 5-4 pa rin naman siya against dito sa mga gold team din naman na next phase solid. Unti, unti. And hihirapan na ang next phase solid sumagot sa mga binibigay or binabato sa kanila ng new level Baymax. Mm -hmm. Even though kumukunat pa ngayon sa si H2O, pero later on, pag may bumuo dyan na si Halberd, eh, Chuck, baka mawakasan din yung buhay niya dito. And even with the Necklace of Durans, most probable, sasabay at sasabay. Speaking of Necklace of Durans, Dian has just purchased his necklace as well pala. Yes, and right now na ako, gumugusto naman ang team U-level dito. Pero nice try, sabi ng NXP, we have all of our members for the yes. backup. Look at the split push. Ito yung uh, technique na sinubukan gawin, gawin kanina mm -hmm. ng NXP. Yung thumbs na nag i push. So, I think sinusubukan uli nila kung gagana. Yun nga eh. Kasi kanina ko pa napapansin, hindi talaga masyadong sumasama si onto the team fight. I think talaga pinakarap niya maigi yung item yes. set niya. Yes. Kailangan nila gumawa ng backup plan dito, Baymax. Hindi nila pa di asa sa rotation na nila. Uh, chance na nila maging reactive at maging creative in terms of paano ko kontra hindi ito yung next phase solid. Pero next phase mm -hmm. solid here, makikita nila eh. Take advantage nila na nagdadalawang isip, kumbaga. Di ba? Yep. May mga akala, akala dito. Makikita naman natin dito. Akala nila Yawi, all in na agad dito yung level. Mapipilitan ba sila na magiging okay, team 4 team 5? Mm -hmm. Yes, I think this is uh, disengaged coming from NXP solid knowing that uh, ano eh, kulado or wala nang uh, skill yung team ng U-Level dito. Why si Rene J? Busy sa split pushing. Ito Isang yung maganda. Oo, oh, oh. ito yung maganda na ginagawa dito ng U-Level. Oh, si Dragon. Prioritize something. Pero plus ka nor. Yeah, yeah, priority na right now. Pero kali. Grabe. Na umamatay as well as Yawi. Yawi si Dragon. Pero wait for her. Tapos A2O. Masakit yung damage na binibigay. Di cram. Ito na yung sinasabi natin. Na Mamatay ba? Na, eh, hindi Man. nakakayanin ni H2O Maring Atina. Ganun yeah, nakasakit. Na. Ang damage output ng new level Renegade is the only one left yes. dito trying to run away still in habol ni Dokmen kinuha niya lang yung Eye of the Storm para makatakas and dash in the Lord is being taken by you level and walang contest na magaganap dito yes. unless abutan ni Yawin mm -hmm. speaking of Yawin ten 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 here comes Renegade. Yawin yung kaibigan Renegade delikado yung kalagayan the carpet is dirt oh. Dokmen is still trying to chase him yes. hindi alam ngayon ng new level kung sino yung unahin delikado pa ngayon ng kalagayan si Dokmen na ako pinalo ng palakon and that's going to be a flicker basic para kay Rene J here ka sa back up ng NXP the Lord pero yung HP wala yung ka-prioritize pero mamamatay pa rito si Parang Dian at itira mag-isa dito yung Alice natin the Lord has been taken actually by Alice kasama pa yung 2 here comes Kali still trying to chase away James medyo nalit ang dating dito instead Escanor yung magiging katapat niya good job dun sa Alice natin on actually taking the Lord pamunti ka nang makuha na next base solid yung name as Alice just saying na very familiar yung scene na ganun. Yawi and Rene J, or of course Rene J na lang kahit mag-isa. Yung clutch place niya na dalawang beses niya na nakawan yung team payaman ng Lord. Nung do or day situation na sila dito. And look at that instant replay. Tatlo na na miyembro. Natira na lang si Kram. The clutch play coming from mm -hmm. him. Partida na walang retribution. Walang retribution. Oh, mm -hmm. actually, I think nag-panic yung NXP Solid. They really want to take yes. the Alice. Pero hindi nila naisip na masakit na rin. Speaking of yeah, masakit, nice. some of the damage is being, being dealt against Yawi. Yawi is still trying to run away. Pulado sa Escanor. Calling sa Alib Gandhi. Ay, ito po, hinahabol na rito lahat ng miyembro ng new level. Disengage na sila, Maring Atina. Naramdaman nila yung ng Falling yes. Star Moon nung ating Esmeralda. Speaking of Esmeralda, 411 pa pala. Itong ating Esme, which is si H2O. Yun, nice. First time so, na namatay na fight kanina. Hindi pa masyado na siya shutdown ng new level dito, Esmeralda. Pero speaking of shutdown, may masya shutdown ba dito sa clash na to? Speaking of shutdown na nga si Kali. Ako na sa akin ng parang crown. Si Doc Man is still on the go. Nagihintay ng ejector. Yawi nga ba yung ihagis niya? Hindi. Sige siya lang din po na falling star. Mung galing for H2O. The ejector. Delikado yung ginawa. The shield is starting up. It's not Yawi. Still trying to run away. Nahabo ni parang yata with the basic attack. Yung kanyang mountain shock or good job. Kasi nagka-cutlane siya doon sa likod. Saved by the bell yung ginawang jungle or rather nung German cut dito sa Rene J guys without Rene J. Isang malamang nakapag-push na doon sa middle lane yung U-level against X-ray solid. Pero sabi naman dito nila YSS nila yato. Sige, cut mo na yan. E di, kunin na natin yung top lane turret or bottom lane turret nila dito. Di ba? Pero ito, parang Atina, hindi pa nila kayang i-dive. Yung ano, yung turret, 
hindi pa enough yung sustainability ng alis yes. natin dito. Pero once na ma-attain ng isang alis yung required sustainability to actually dive the enemy under the turret, napakalaking problema para sa side ng NXP because they still yes. don't have the necklace of durance or the item, the correct items to counter yung regeneration ng alis natin. Sabi ng ano dito yung level, akala nyo kayo lang yung... Yun nga eh. Ito. Meron din kaming alis tsaka ano. Ang maganda dito kasi, sinu-show up na rin na yung level lahat yung minion wave nila para kung sakali man na pagkaroon ng medyo egolized na teamfight ay makakapalag pa rin naman sila pero dito pumapalag pa rin sila. Nako, speaking of palag, nako, yan, pero low on HP. Nako, no, okay, good. Pero look at the regeneration na binitawa ng isang Khalid Ubos, ang miyembro ng U-Level Renegade mm -hmm. dito with a Faker pero hindi na siya humabol against Yato. Ang target nila ha dito is going to be cramped pero push na lang sa may middle lane kasi disengage na ang ginawa ng miyembro ng U-Level and right now they have the map control for a while or until mabuhay dito yung mga miyembro ng U-Level and I think they really want to take this opportunity to take down as much threat as possible habang kulang ang miyembro ng U-Level 2 for 1 I rather 2 for none exchange ang naganap doon may max and U-Level medyo nagkaroon sila na small hiccup moment doon not looking good lalo pagdating sa ganitong round or ka crucial na moment bakit? Rene J humuli na ng Malefic Roar gusto na oh. lang talaga nito bumasag ng bumasag to take the lead against you level B. Max, hindi na nila pwede pabayaan to. Pwedeng sumegway push to or split push ang side na next day solid. I think ang pinakainaantay ni Rene J dito is to, ha, ano eh, for his teammate to engage another team fight dito sa Lord. Then kukunin niya yung opportunity na yun to split push mm -hmm. dun sa may top lane. Ayan. Yes. Yun na nga, yung ginagawa nilang opportunity dito na next is solid to take down the Lord as fast as they can. Pero si Kram may sarili yung plano no. na naman. Papayang si ba? Wala nang oh. ultimate dito si Khalid. We need to take yes. note that Mountain Shackers been activated just to know the exact locations of the members ng NXP solid dito. The Lord nag-reset na nga, Maria Pina. Mm -hmm. May I add, si Ren and Jay, hindi siya sumasama sa teamfight guys. Mm -hmm. Kita natin dyan na. Very consistent siya, pero dito consistent din yung damage siya, binibigay nila HP, oh! pero... Speaking of consistent oh, no. damage, Kali with the ultimate rap win, is to take down a member, pero Kram taking down H2O, still going live dito against three members, hindi kaya madami ng NXP solid without the necklace of Duran, still on the go yung teamfight natin dito, ang target pa rin nila is going to be the Alice, pero shot down na rin ang nangyari kay Rene J, that is going to be a 3 for 2 exchange in favor of Liu Level, and right now, Liu Level has the opportunity to take the Lord, kasi buhay pa yung hyper carry nila with the retribution, and ang natin lang dito is si James and Yawi, si Kuyas Yawi, very aggressive face, masakit yung damage yung balitawan kay Yato, pero nukatok men, talaga namang ejector, pero hindi aabutan ang isang George, mga kaibigan. Hindi makonvert masyado ng new level into objective or a kill yung nangyari nga siya yun. Bakit? Si Yawi and James gumagawa pa rin ng pangarap. Yung si James, hindi niya pinatantanan. Even Yawi nag-back away lang saglit pero tinutuloy pa rin nila yung pangungulit nila. Walang retribution to. So, this will be a miracle play, guys. Oy! Ay, okay. kala ko nakuha ng NXP pero hindi pa lang okay, kakaibigan. Munti ka nang makakuha ng NXP. Ang ganda ng tanong ni James. Speaking of James, si James na nga ang matutuluyan Nakapu. ni paring Yato dito. And this is going to be a hard time para sa NXP solid kasi the Lord is going to march onto that bottom lane and Luminous Lord level 2 na to maring ating nga. Yan na nga. Uh, Baymax, new level, they could take advantage of this. Pwede nilang basagi ng tuloy-tuloy, sabay-sabay nilang i-show up yung minion wave dito na next solid para mahirapan na mag-focus para sa isang linya lang dito na next solid. Yun mm -hmm. ang pinakamaganda magagawa nila and spotting H2O as well for the side of next play. Meanwhile, next play ang dapat naman nilang gawin dito depends ang marino uh, melt down the lord as fast as they can pero mahihirapan sila kasi merong alis to the front yeah, line, you know, to the rescue, uh, basag. Yes, actually the only way na ma-cancel out nila yung regeneration ng alis is kung mapapalag uh, papalagan ng Tamos kasi yung Tamos nga lang pero speaking of palag talaga pinalagan under the turret ng Team U11 yung NXP patay ang isang miyembro Kram is down the only one that can sustain that entire damage of the enemy team is down I think gugustuhin ng U11 dito na mag push out sa lahat ng lanes kasi patay nga si Kirama ring Atina yun lang nga yes. nagiging problema nila eh masakit yung damage as well as makunap ang maganda dito, na-convert nila or nakakuha naman sila ng inhibitor turret doon sa so may bandang bottom side and next solid. So that is a very 
very slight good trade up na rin na nangyari Baymas mm-hmm. kasi unti yun te hindi na makakapag segue basta basta yung next day solid bakit pwede na rin nilang gawin yun against mm-hmm. them delicate Ama. hindi na pwede basta bitawan yung linya na yun dahil pwede diretsuhin lang din na new level yun pero si Rene J lagi may sariling Pangarap lagi yung batang to. Hindi niya talaga tinatantanan. Nagumuha ng gumuha ng plan B, plan C, hanggang Z, kumbaga. Yes, Kaya, tama ka dyan. Level, hindi rin basta-basta makapag-spread out ng wings nila. Yep. And I yes. think what NXP needs right now, Maring Atina, is to have a good positioning. Yung positioning na talagang kapag nagkamali ng face check yung Team U level dito is magkakaroon na ng katapusan yung lead. Pero speaking of face check, nagkamali na naman ng face check dito Hello? si Kali. And Napaaga na waste, ultimate, oh, ha? Na-waste, na-waste yung ultimate niya dito. Nako, mm-hmm. malaking bagay yung parang level of men could go for him again, ha, this time around. Pero good thing na rin din na ispatan doon sa si H2O. Pero si Yawi, just to delay things, ah, pakikita naman natin, hindi niya tinatantanan si Dian. Napilita na gumamit no, no, no. ng light orb niya. Mm-hmm. Yes, nako, wala nang purify dito si Dian as well. Uh, H2O naman, wala nang falling star. Mga the T-Fight is going to happen. Okay. Very well. Um, na ako napilitan mag win from Tranchon look at the damage binibit ako ni H2O you have to take down yeah, Kram and look at the energy sa likuran with the way Tranchon po not enough na lang to take down Yato pero they have the lead right now 3 versus 5 tayo Maring Atina sadly walang mana si paring Kali and he is going to be forced to back onto the base para makapag-regen ng mana pero right now another opportunity is given para sa NXP solid to take down a turret kaya nilang pumalag kasi nandito pa si Esme yes Sa to the fact na itong si Dian bumili na ng Oracle for the Racist Shield Absorption against so, an Esmeralda as well. Dito, Baymas, gusto niya talaga magkaroon ng defensive items. Hindi na pure damage dito yung mage natin. Meanwhile, for the side naman na naging solid, lock item na ang lahat dito no. ng mga miyembro na next play. So, you level uh, backing. Hindi, halos lock item na rin. Yes, actually. Lock- lahat ng miyembro natin dito Maring Atin. Actually, may lock item nga to the point na pati boots pinapalitan nila yan. Pero eto yes. guys, habang nakapost tayo, shoutout din sa lahat ng nanonood. Grabe yung viewers natin yung Maring Atina. Ang taas. Mm-hmm. Grabe! Sorry guys, hindi ko masyado tinitingnan kasi yung live minsan kasi umiiwas ako sa toxicity. Uh, oh, I promote ayan. positive oh, oh. gaming environment. Ayan. Do support your teams without trash talking each other. Ayan. Yes, Dahil do sila din mismo, very professional sila. Diba? Kaya nga sila nasa professional division natin. Ayan. Nagsisilabasan na ang ating mga supporters. Ayan. Sipag daw mag-death ni Rene J, sabi ni Vincent Alcano. Oh, oh. Totoo, masipag si Rene J. Masipag siya yes. mag- saka mag-defend ng base. Kanina pa natin nakikita. Mm-hmm. Kanina niya pa ginagawa ng exit plan or plan B yung team nila guys. The, kaya yung U level, hindi nila nila basta-basta mabitawan. Si Khalid or si Eskanor na yung tumatapat sa kanya lagi sa linya. Kaya so, nahihirapan naman yung U level kapag wala naman si Eskanor sa, sa clash. Kasi so, mm-hmm. big thing din naman yung nabibigay na damage kapag nagre-raging sunstorm na siya. At isa siya sa mga tumatayo na so the tank or hard tank dito sa side naman ng new level. Yes, pero maring at ina, mabalik tayo sa laro. During that last team fight, naramdaman mm-hmm. ni Krap yung sakit na damage yes. na ito to dulot ni H2O. So this is the problem of both sides of the team. Mm-hmm. New level has Esmeralda as their problem. Well, NXP si Kram. No, nakakalaman, yeah. sino yung maunang mawalan nung dalawang hero na binanggit ko? Sila yung madidis, uh, madidihado. On, uh, on that team fight, pero right now the Lord is up for grabs once again and is being taken by NXP solid. Pero fake wala Lord ba to? Ba? Oh, I think mm-hmm. this is going to be a fake Lord kasi hindi nila alam kung nasan yung exact locations ng mga kalaban. So kailangan nila. Lock item na rin dito si Escanor. I just saw him purchase the BOD and as well as the Alice for purchasing that Athena shield. Yan, kita naman natin, uh, pantay na pantay na to ha, mga kaibigan. At remind ko lang din kayo na this is a best of three series, all one na. Kaya naman ganito, katinde, yung blue teams natin na hindi nagpapadaig sa isa't isa. Paborito talaga to ni Ginoong Valdez, eh. Valdez. Baymax. <laughs> Totoo yan, Mare Ati. Ito yung ano, eh, point na bawing-bawi yung NXP solid. kasi Oh, yung ano nila yung showtime nila kumbaga dito sa Cute Legends is naputol, di ba? For their first match. 
Pero right now, talagang pinapakita yun talagang uh, capability nila no to uh, to play against a uh, good teams tulad nitong U level and right now eto nga the lord is being taken by NXP half an HP already na yung lord natin dito pero look at this scrum medyo nagkamali ng positioning dito is going to be targeted but the entire team the lord has been reset dito yes. sa side ng NXP pero look at it was worth it ha oh, yes. kasi na-reset niya eh half HP na lang yung lord if next play solid took the lord for the chance Eh, medyo mauumay dito ang new level kasi pwede silang asimi na this time around ng next phase solid B yan nakita ko use his second up, skill look at the top on. On. Oy! look at the top so, na naman dito here comes Rene J tinamaan siya dito ng raging sandstorm pero that is not enough to cancel him out here comes Kram with the follow up Kali is here also pero Rene J will be forced to use his flicker Yato will not be able to chase him down si Kali ang bilis dito makbo and that is actually a good day para sa side ng NXP dalawang miyembro sa lang yung natira dito sa may ating uh, lord side Dian still waiting on Termus oh, Yawi is still very aggressive against the enemy team here comes Escanor Escanor actually trying to target the lord pero disagi siya lang din muna Yawi very low on HP masakit yung damage Yato as well as ni Dian pero sa likuran pumapuesto si Rene J here comes Rene J Dian has taken down Yawi the lord is been reset dito sa teamfight oh, wow. natin H2O is still alive Grab si Kram wala na rin buhay masakit yung Rafoid natin pero Dian is successful Immortality, no? H2O, wala nang immortality. Tama ka maring Athena. James still trying to run away. Hinabol pa rin dito si H2O. Makakatakas nga kaya. Pero look at Rene J. Still pushing pa rin doon sa taas. Ang shield ni H2O is real. Still alive. Hindi inabutan. Mountain Shocker is not enough to take down H2O. And that is going to be the end Grabe. of the chase. Grabe yung habulan na yun. Yung play ng U-Level. Control na next play. Kaso U-Level, hawak naman nila mid- and bottom lane. Bottom lane. Kaso nagiging harap. Ito yung next play solid na basta-basta bumira. Kasi nga, tumatagos yung pala dito. Siya kay Spada ni Yato with YSL. Through damage din against an H2 oh guys. Ito na nga yung sinasabi natin na kapag dating sa late game, hihirapan na sumabay masyado yung next play solid. Uy! Kailangan na lang nila na matinding pusang pang champion. Uy! The Lord has been taken by Team Blue Level. Dian, very low on HP. Look at the damage na binibitawan kay Kali. Yato is still on the free hit. James, very low on HP as well. It's going to be taken down. Yato on that killing spree. 1 for 2 exchange in favor of U Level. Kali is still being chased. Yawi is there to protect his teammate pero disengage sa muna para sa U-Level sabi nila ay sapat na na nakuha namin yung level 3 Lord against NXP and this time na ako napakahirap depensa na yun ito maring Athena signal makunap na kunap kaila signal dito sa next phase solid bakit may Lord guys this is a leveled up Lord uh, pangatlong Lord na to sa ating series for tonight dako po Gatinding depensa ang marginong kailangan nila dito. Abot pa ba sa death count dito ni Jason is show? Yes, abot pa po guys. Kaya magkakatalo na lang to sa set na mabibigay mm -hmm. ng bawat isa at kailangan mag-ingat din dito ni Lacran. Meanwhile, mm -hmm. vice versa, dito si Rene Ako, Jay, as in moments niya and clutch plays ay matinding kailangan talaga dito ng next day solid. Pero right now, the turret has been taking mm -hmm. down. Lahat ng miyembro ng new level nasa loob base Ayun, for his time on will connect sure? ng damage. Focus sila sa Lord ngayon. Ginagawa dito ng NXP yung best nila para hindi makalapit yung miyembro ng U-Level sa may base. Pero look at Kram. Way of the Dragon into the turret. Saan yung mag-isa? Yung binubuhusan ng skill pero he's still alive. Yes, Kano is successful. Taken down H2O. Patay si H2O. Yawi ang isusunod dito. Pero James, dumidepensa ka. So hindi na talaga kinakaya. And right now, James is down. Yes, Kano is gone for the turret as well as Yato. Look at Yato. Tinatapos na yung laban. Then game number 3 goes to U-Level. Grabe naman!